a team wins in all competitions, you're back to the form from uh, 2018-19. Can you tell tell us how that how that's happened? Mm, I don't know. I think in the next game, on the game we have to play and try to prepare well and win. No more secrets than that. It feels as though your team has just hit a group of form that nobody else has been able to get anywhere near this season. I I have to tell you the same that uh, happened when it happened before. is uh, The game we have to play, focus in this game and win, and after this is a consequence. But all the analyst uh, is because uh, we get results. So, but it's the past. It's tomorrow another one. We are in February. Uh, so calm. In the same time when we lose, it's be so calm. It's the same now. So, the reason why is just thinking in the next game and now with Swansea. Um, I know you spoke about uh, Phil Foden. You speak about Phil Foden a lot. Um, were you ever bothered by any criticism over your handling him? If we go back two or three years, people used to say, we don't play him often enough, you're not handling him right. Did you ever worry that you didn't get it quite right with someone like Foden? No, it's part of our jobs. So sometimes when he didn't play, he could have played. Sometimes when he played, maybe he could rest. So we never know. So... Uh, only I have clear. So all the good decisions we take always is good because we won. Not because they are good for itself. Because even even ourselves, when we take a decision, we never know what's going to happen. So all the good comments and the good... Uh, after the victory for Liverpool, I'm going to tell you the secret. It's because we won. Doing the same, we lose, would have been a disaster. It happened many times. When we play one holding midfielder, why we play one holding midfielder? When we play with two holding midfielders, why we play with two holding midfielders? When we play with strikers, why we didn't play with false nine? When we play with false nine, why didn't play with a striker? Always it's because we won. And after that, all the success manager is good. And the manager who doesn't win is a loser. And we are in this world who have to accept it. And, uh, and that's why. So we were happy. Uh, for the result, for the especially three points, no more than that. Uh, especially for good things, especially, especially how, for example, Gundogan missed a penalty and how incredible react and can score two goals. That means how strong he is. How means how he has to learn about these behaviors. But the day after, in our head, is just Swansea and try to see as much games as possible. The next one, the last one against Norwich, against Brentford, against another games, and try to analyze what they do to beat them. No, no more secrets than than is our job and our life. Um, and where where is Sergio Aguero at with his fitness? Well, yesterday training uh, ten minutes, fifteen minutes with the group, and after make a part alone, and uh, day by day is feeling better, feeling better. Have you any idea when you might be No, thinking? not yet. <laughs> not yet. Thank you. You're welcome. Can we go to Chris Wallen, please? Afternoon, Beth. Hi. Uh, you played Swansea in 2019. A very, very tight game. Clearly, there's a change of manager there now. What do you expect from Swansea and what do you make of the job that Steve Cooper is doing? Well, Swansea all have a, a tradition of good managers with a... With uh, Michael Laudrup was there, and uh, I think Roberto Martinez was there, and uh, uh, Mr. Potter, Brighton manager, was there. Now for the first time I realized how good he is when I faced him, and uh, we suffered a lot. We was 2-0 down, our, three, our third goal was an offside. So, yeah, it was a difficult, difficult, tough game. I don't expect uh, a different game that we played uh, uh, two seasons ago, while well, we suffered a uh, incredible to to go through, so I know his Swansea consistency uh, with the Scott uh, uh, defensively. He didn't concede chances. He didn't concede goals. They are so solid with this formation, physical, strong. They have the quality to play at front with a U. Uh, quality in the middle so yeah real difficult incredible difficult test we have to do a good performance we, we know what suffered against Chantelham 
to to go through. One zero down, eighty minutes. So I don't expect any different in game uh, tomorrow. And finally, from the back, you've seen the way that Steve Cooper has given chances to many young players. Phil Foden played under him, of course, with England in the seventeen. Joel Latibodia and also also there. Are you pleased that someone has given young English players chances? Yeah, Joel was happy. Was a nice guy who who trained with us many times. Incredible, nice lad. Uh, honestly, uh, is incredible person. I think all the guys who are academy come for the second team to train with us. There are many. The behavior, the attitude is fantastic. So it's the only way they have chance to to make career in this business. So yeah, looking forward to see him and and congratulate him for uh, what he's doing. Go to Fred Caldera, please, guys. Okay. Um, after the match at Anfield, you, you said that Edison taking penalties used to be a joke. Now it's only an half joke. Uh, during the absence of Ted De Bruyne, is it? Is there any chance at all that it, it is not a joke and, and he might be the one? He has to save the balls, make a good build up, and after we'll see what happens. It depends on the players. Now Sergio's not fit, and Kevin was a, a incredible good taker, and Forte is not fit yet. We'll see tomorrow, it depends on the lineup, but uh, it's an option. Of course, it is because I'm pretty sure he's a good taker. And especially for the penalty taker, has to be the the personality in the self, incredible, huge confidence from himself to say, OK, I'm going to shoot and I'm going to score. Thank you. Go to Adam Kappa, please, guys. Hi, I'm Pep. It's uh, Keith Sky Sports here. Pep, um, 14 wins in a row. 21 matches unbeaten. What does it say for your team that you've managed to do a lot of that without a, a recognised striker in your team, with other players playing through the middle who, who aren't used to playing centre forward? Sorry, I didn't understand the last part of the question. Sorry. Um, you've, you've won all those matches yeah. in a row, 14, without a, a lot of them, without a recognised centre forward. What does that say about the strength of your, your squad and the oh. ability of your players to play different positions? No, we play with centre forward many games, so... Sometimes with him, sometimes so. When we don't play with the typical centre forwards being there, I like in that position the people can move a little bit more. But uh, we have to ride the box. So when we saw the games against against uh, against Liverpool, four or five players were inside of the box and no typical striker. So that is what we have to to do. But uh, every game is different. Uh, and uh, and we are looking forward to even Gabriel playing as a striker when he's dropping, improving in his position, not playing there like a player, like you can link a striker just being there. I'm not a big fan of this. I like, prefer to move there in this position and uh, and uh, yeah, you have some players they can do it. Uh, can I ask you um, about a story over the last 24 hours, a sad one that the referee Mike Dean has asked not to have a game this weekend after receiving a, a death threat. There has been an increasing amount of online hate, not just to referees, but to footballers as well. How do you see that situation and what do the players themselves say about it in, in the dressing room? Yeah, you have to be careful about the messages. Today is difficult to control for the social media, but what happened, for example, in South America, when one football player came himself, now we are... or or we are... Oh, I'm sorry. It's a pity, and uh, we have uh, and now criticize, you know. The but we forget, or maybe we forget what the people said to this guy before, and he's maybe he was not a good player, and uh, for the the color of his skin, or for uh, taking the families, or something with the kids, or impressional life, and the people today, when in public, in public life, we have to be. You know, we are sometimes being accused for many, many, many things. Like, for example, it happened when Bernardo Silva, he when was accused, when a common racist, when he's the most gentle and kind and nice person I ever met, one of the nicest I ever met in my life. So we have to be careful. We have to be careful for the people who judge the other ones because the people who suffer maybe is not strong enough. And that's why it's happened today with the, with the referee can make a mistake, but it's incredible how... People can accuse that, or some players will make a mistake, accused for racism, or, or accused for. Uh, uh, so all the guys, all the referees, all the players, all the managers want to do a good job. 
the players don't want to make a miss a chance the, the players want, they want to miss a penalty the players want to make a mistake and it's part of the job so always is here's win and win and win when, why, why we don't start to take let's play go to play it's a game have fun and always focusing about about the big issues because ourself ourselves we are the first like a uh, with the men too much and responsibilities accused to the players when they are simple make a mistake because it's part of the game. So everybody's involved. We cannot judge now the guys who accuse someone when everybody's involved in this. Guys, good time to raise your hand for the embargo section, but we'll just go to Ian Parker at PA just before that. Uh, Papa, just wanted to ask, is there any other injury concerns tomorrow night? Uh, no. No, no, but we have we have I, we have training this afternoon, so the players are not are not still here, so we have to wait. Okay, are you planning to make changes for a cup game? Mm, we are going to travel with the team that everybody is fit because we have three or four injured players, and uh, when we need some new players for the second team, is going to help us.